there's another thing that I'd like to point out before we really start unpacking the seven steps and and getting Drew's take on uh, the kind of the reality of of using the seven steps because there's there's what's documented, there's what you know the government's looking for, and then there's like how how do you how do you really do it in the real world? Uh, but the, the other thing I want to say that I think is really important and helpful to understand RMF is that it it's based on a life cycle development process. Like that seems to be the major lens through which uh, RMF uh, describes what needs to be done. And I like to compare and contrast that to the NIST cybersecurity framework because some people uh, seem to have this idea that that they're just sort of like synonymous with each other. Uh, and in my experience, I, I don't think that it's very synonymous. I actually think it's complementary because the cybersecurity framework is actually organized around the five steps of a computer incident and how you handle it. And so uh, I think that's a really important distinction. But Drew, what, what's your opinion of that? Yeah, I think that they are complementary. I, I think that everything inside of the cybersecurity framework is inside of RMF, and then RMF has a, has a ton more stuff. Um, but mm -hmm. it is organized differently, and I think that makes it significantly more approachable for smaller organizations or less mature organizations. They could be a Fortune 5 company and very immature, um, or they could be a, a mom and pop that stood up yesterday. You know, um, and, and at the end of the day, both of those control sets, um, and, and we'll talk about that, I'm sure, um, they are at the end trying to help you figure out what to do and how to do it um, and actually make some help you make smarter purchasing decisions, which is an, another interesting topic as well. Um, and so overall, um, I think no matter how you approach it, either from the RMF side or from the cybersecurity um, framework side, um, you're getting the same goodness um, really coming out of NIST and, and the experts there. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, I've seen a lot of people who they say, CSF and RMF in the same sentence, and they think they're the same thing. In fact, when uh, Kip and I started making our NIST cybersecurity framework course, uh, we were working with Udemy Business to get it added to their catalog. They were actually asking for a NIST cybersecurity framework and RMF course. And we're like, whoa, 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 that's not the same thing. Let's do one. And then, you know, if you want the other one, we'll make the other one too. And, and we are, we're currently making an RMF course to go through how you actually do this in the real world. Um, but we had to, you know, break that apart for them because most people, when they talk to hiring managers, when they talk to HR, when they talk to all the people in the instruction and, and recruitment areas of these large Fortune 500 businesses they deal with, they kept hearing, we want CSF and RMF. And they thought that was one thing. We're like, no, no, those are two different things. They just work really well together.